Hi guys, I'm Sheena, the Sports Report Girl here with In the Crease, a recap of the top stories from the National Hockey League. So let's give it up, shall we, for the Pittsburgh Penguins, our 2009 Stanley Cup champions. Wow, what an incredible finals that was. And to think, after starting the series down two games to none, the Pens won four of the next five, including the decisive game seven in Hockey Town. After the type of season they had, who would have thought they could pull it off? Well, I'll tell you who. Me, that's who. Just two weeks ago, I picked the Penguins to win it all even after they lost the first two games. Go ahead, see for yourself. Far, it's looked more like a repeat than a rematch with Pittsburgh losing the first two games in Detroit, but I still like the Penguins. From the start of the playoffs, Pittsburgh was my dark horse to win it all. If they can even up the series at home, then I would expect them to carry that momentum back to Detroit, where they will steal game five and win the cup at home in game six. Okay, so they didn't win it in six, like I said, but they did win the cup, and that is what matters. In fact, looking back over the entire playoffs, yours truly picked 13 of the 15 series correctly. My only missteps came when I picked the Sharks in round one, like everyone, and the Canucks in round two. That is an astonishing 87% success rate. So good, in fact, that I have decided to move to Las Vegas to pursue my dreams of becoming the preeminent hockey prognosticator and odds maker. Ah, I can see it now. And though the Wings defense has gotten better over the playoffs, it is still no match for the offensive firepower of the Penguins. That is why you take the over at five and a half. That's great, sweetheart, but uh, I'm not paying you to talk. Now drop the top and get busy. Uh, um, on second thought, <laughs> there's really no rush. Back to the finals. It was an astonishing feat for the Penguins to win this series, especially considering how well the Red Wings shut down Sid the Kid. Not only was he held to one goal and two assists in the finals, but he missed most of Game 7 due to injury. Yet he now ranks as the youngest captain to hoist the Stanley Cup above his head. As for Evgeny Malkin, he was awarded the Conn Smythe Trophy, but really, Maxime Talbot was their finals MVP. The man with bad hands scored the Penguins only two goals in the deciding game, and thanks to Fleury's diving save in the final seconds, those two goals proved to be good enough. And let's not forget about poor Marion Hossa, the man who snubbed the Pens and their multi-year offer to take a one-year deal in Detroit. He did so because he felt the Wings were better poised to win the Cup this season. As they say, revenge is a dish better served cold, and Friday night, Hossa got served. In the end, Detroit started off strong in this series, but seemed to lose steam midway through the seven games. In fact, I'm fairly certain none of them thought it would go seven games. After the beatdown they put on the Pens in game five, I'm sure most thought they would be celebrating in Pittsburgh after game six. And though the common perception out there is that the Wings are an old team, I don't think they faded due to age. The truth is, most of their core contributors are 29 and younger. So sit back and relax, because something tells me we're gonna see this matchup a few more times in the years to come. Okay guys, that is it for this edition of In The Crease, but I will be back periodically with updates during the off season. As always, leave your comments, and if you like the show, be sure to subscribe and tell a friend. Until next time, 